Pioneers started the 2001 season, and they came back January 11th for the start of spring semester. At that point in time, I felt that uh, this team was starting to do the things that they needed to do to become um, a factor in the WBIAC. Um, we had some great things happen to our program, uh, most notably uh, Ike and Sue Morris gave a great donation to, to our football program and to the college, uh, and the result of which was a brand new artificial surface for our football field. It's called Field Turf, and uh, it looks like grass and plays like grass, and it's, a, it's, it's the best surface that uh, uh, anybody could ever have. Um, along with that, we were able to add uh, um, uh, new weight equipment into our weight room to the tune of about $30,000 and has really upgraded our facilities and put our facilities at the top of the WVIAC in terms of football um, with our locker room, our field, and our weight room. Uh, I think and I believe that some of the best facilities that uh, Division II has to offer. great atmosphere being uh, an early uh, conference game and, and conference is, is what's, uh, what's the most important thing. And this was going to be a real important game for us because it was the home opener. It was going to start to set the tone for what we were going to be able to do in, in the conference play. a solid game offensively, defensively, and special teams, and uh, I think really gave the conference an idea of what Glenville could do. Next, uh, the next week we traveled to Fairmont, who had been uh, preseason poll number one, and this was going to be the true test. This was going to be the test for the pioneers of whether they could play uh, at the top of the conference uh, or not.
Fairmount win for us was a key turning point in our season. They knew now that they could play and beat anybody in our conference. This is a great game for us because uh, we, uh, we have an opportunity to step up a level and to see really what we're made of. I was very, very proud of, of the, the football team and the way that they responded on the football field. This game shocked our kids into the fact that uh, everything that we do in our program is important and preparing uh, for every game is, is extremely important. And I think without this loss against West Virginia Tech, um, we would not have been able to accomplish the rest of the things that we did during the course of the season. We come back home to Morris Stadium and play Shepherd College, who's ranked 12th in the country. One of those games where we're going to find out what we're really made of. Let's get things cranked up. Shepherd College against Glenville State. I'll just drag the record books to the recycle bin when those two get together. Tied at 21 with 119. Jack Mental using powers of telepathy to guide this ball. He's mental. 
Lance Lenton is the hero. 28-21. The kids just did a tremendous job of, of coming together and playing a solid game from the beginning to the end. They never let up. They just kept going. And uh, we ended up coming uh, away from there with a very convincing victory. It was going to be a challenge for our kids. And this was going to be a big one on whether we could uh, be able to, again, control one of the top teams in the conference.
very convincing and uh, win for us and really showed the conference that uh, Glenville was here and Glenville was, was making a run. Our last game was against our rivals, West Virginia Wesleyan Bobcats. This one was, was for all the marbles. We could, uh, if we could beat West Virginia Wesleyan, um, we would be able to be in sole possession of the WVIC crown. hard-fought game, but in the end, uh, the Pioneers really came through and, and came through in the fourth quarter and, and really put the thing out of, out of reach. This Pioneer football team never gave up, but what they did do is they came together. They started to learn to believe in themselves. They started to take things one at a time. It was a slogan for us all year long, and uh, I'm very, very proud of, of this football team because of uh, not only because they captured the WVIC championship, but how they went about doing it and how together they could. And together they did. And they won this thing with the honor and a lot of integrity. And uh, I'm extremely proud of them. They took it one at a time. And uh, just as we said, the trophy was there at the end.
Winning the WBIC championship this year has laid the foundation for continuing the strong traditions of Pioneer football. This team, this family, came together this year, has and always will bleed blue. Right now, bleed blue. One, two, three. Bleed blue.